Welcome back, everyone. It's 922. So ravioli is, of course, a classic Italian dish, but have you ever heard of naked ravioli? <laughs> No, not no. really. <laughs> well, it's not new. exactly what you think, right? Yeah, not exactly. I mean, it's so it is naked because it's missing the pasta, ah. which is it would be a regular ravioli if it had the pasta on it. But this is actually just the filling of the pasta. Okay. And we add a little bit of flour, so it's a little bit more like a dumpling. I like that a little um, pillow. Pillow and light and <laughs> fluffy. Perfect. Um, so it's also called nudi, which nudie. is G N U D I. Nudi. Is it related to gnocchi? It is related to gnocchi, okay. but it does not have potato in it. Oh, That's a good right. question. Okay, well, thank you. So, actually. yeah. Um, <laughs> nice connection I, you made, Raj. It <laughs> has ricotta in it instead, and that's okay. what kind of like makes it a little bit uh, fluffier. Let's get cooking. So, yeah, let's do it. Okay. So, um, we should mention your chef, down. Jamie, Sydney, of oh, yeah. course. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> nice to have you back here way. in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here a couple times. So. Water's boiling. Water's boiling. Good? We okay. got that good. Okay. So, first, we're going to make our nudie, our naked ravioli, and we've got ricotta cheese. You want to get a really good ricotta cheese. Is kind of a homemade one. Okay. Um, it's a little bit kind of chunkier. The stuff that you buy in the supermarket, um, like oh, it is polio. Thicker. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's very it's just smooth and kind of mushy. Mm -hmm. So um, this is great to use. And then what we're going to do is add Parmesan cheese. So I have a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. Okay. We'll pop that in. Um, and then this is a little bit of nutmeg. I just like to flavor. It. It's fall. I feel yeah. like fall. nutmeg is acceptable totally. always. Totally. Nice state. And also, um, actually, the first time I had this was when I was in Florence. I was taking some cooking classes, and I went to um, the James Beard of Italy's house, and we had this wow. beautiful lunch, and um, they serve spinach mm -hmm. nudie. Ooh. And so that's kind of how I got to know it. So I'm going to put this egg in. It gets a little mushy. Is that just okay. one egg, the whole egg? One egg, just one whole egg, and okay. you always want to kind of beat it a little bit. You have okay. a little sausage over here as well? I have some sausage, and I have some butternut squash. So okay. while you're doing that, sure. I'm going to add... Just a little bit at a time. I try, when you add flour, you want to like fold it in and do okay. it nice. Yeah. Um, and eating, as you saw, actually. I did the salt. So um, while we're kind of mixing this and continuing to put the flour in. Okay. Um, this is fun because we're making like a homemade pasta. It's a lot of fun. Of. Yeah. Um, Teresa, so much fun. You know, I, I said you're like the Julia Child. <laughs> oh, yeah, and here I am making ravioli. You're <laughs> doing it. You are doing it. Um, so over here we have butternut squash, got and it. because it's fall, I thought it'd be really nice to actually add some things to it. So we've got the squash. This is what it looks like. I just cubed it. I roasted mm -hmm. it in the oven. Nice um, right there. This is a finished yeah, product. Yeah, three, 375 convection. So what How long does that take? Here? Yeah. To um, get it mushy and soft. We're good. Ready to okay. go. Let's see. It looks nice. All right. A little more. Okay. So the next step in this, so basically this was roasted and I sauteed the um, sausage. I got it nice and crispy. And what we would do is um, we, we're going to make these little balls. See right here, these are the nudie. Ah. And ah. what I did was I took a little bit. I'll demonstrate one. It's so is that where you get the naked, the, the nudie naked thing? Yeah, is, that's yeah the exactly. Okay. So. so creative, so original. So yeah, it's just missing its clothes. So we're really not right. stuffing these with anything, right? No, this is the stuffing. And Got it. people put all sorts, as I said, spinach. And then you just want to do one nice roll. Done. Okay. Beautiful. And I just I pile it on flour so on it there. doesn't you know so, stick so too much. So do you have much. a finished product we can take? I sure real quick? do. Okay. Do you mind? So you hungry, right? Well, the first <laughs> thing. I mean, come okay. on. Well, hold on. Because we only have about need... 30 seconds. Oh, we then, do. Uh, okay. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is brown Let's butter see. with sage, and we're okay. gonna fry it. And so this is gonna be a little bit. Oh, that's gonna smell fantastic. Yes. So as that's going, where is our beautiful is finished it in product? Here? Right here. No. Oh, okay. In the oven. Okay, this is it's what we got. Ooh, so, oh, that nice. is fabulous. Okay, and then um, over here, over here. what we do is we're gonna fry the yeah. sage and put it on top. Spoons. Yeah, and put it on top. But it needs to be cooked. By the way, the sage is from my garden. And oh, it's so and nice. Plucked it all up for you guys. So. Oh. Wow, I feel so naked now. Wow. But you oh, do need great. the sage brown butter. Definitely, you need on Adds it. Adds to it. So, um, so basically browned. Fried and on. Good stuff. Good. We got to roll. Okay. All right. <laughs> awesome. Good. Mm. Thanks.